do you remember when he stopped? How, how long ago did he stop? A long time ago. No, he, he started. Nineties. No, yeah, but he started racing when he was forty-one. <laughs> so you can imagine when he's finishing. There's a chance wow. for me yet. <laughs> so, Steve. What, no. You're about fifty-one. Thank you. <laughs> um, I resemble that remark. Not. So <laughs> <laughs> he. Uh, yeah, he started when he was 41, and then he did okay. And but he he used to say he used to enjoy the endurance more than the short yeah, circuit. Uh, you'll find out one day, mate. <laughs> yeah, okay. But is it um, <laughs> is it uh, so? When was the first time that you went to a track? You know, like what got you into road uh, racing or, or bikes? The weird thing was, my dad never wanted me to race for a start. And Smart it, dad. And in the end, I turned I turned around just one day. I was playing football at the same time. I turned turn around one day and said I want to race, and, and he went, okay. So I went to uh, John Hackett, uh, who was his, uh, who yeah, is, his best friend, and uh, bought Rick Hackett his son bike, and I went to the track the next week. I got three corners later and crashed, and, it, and he went, this ain't for you. <laughs> and I said, I'll oh, give me one more chance, and the next day I had a first and a second. But I only learned to ride a gear bike that week before. But I'd always so you never rode a motocross bike? Not, I, yeah, I, I learned the week After. before, which I crashed and knocked myself out. So, um, How old were you? 12 at the time. Yeah, 13, 13. So we had a, you know, a, a good couple of years at the start learning how to ride a bike, really. And uh, going from there, I was playing football up until 17, 16 or 17 and racing bikes. And, and the, the managers, in the football, the right? managers were going mad because I turned up one with a broken wrist from racing bikes, and I turned up at motorbike racing with a dislocated knee from playing football, and <laughs> it just wasn't working. So um, to go into to racing bikes was a natural thing because I enjoyed it more, and it's as simple as that. And a lot of the foot, uh, lads that I used to play with now, you know, play football in the Premiership or. But they're not going to come and start racing, are they? No, but they come and watch, and I'll go and watch them. So who's you know, coming to Silverstone? Come on. Uh, we're looking at having quite a few. Obviously, Alan Smith, he's, he's big into his bikes. England centre uh, forward? Yeah. Uh, Ferdinand, he's, he may be coming, I think. And uh, But a good friend of mine, Gary McSheffrey, now plays at uh, Leeds, he's at. And, uh, well, and, and Doyle, he's at Leeds. So do you train with those guys at all? Or? Mate, they're useless at training. And I mean useless. They're so lazy. For footballers, how they get... How they get do 90 minutes, and God only knows. They must walk for 60 of it because they are <laughs> so bad at training when they go to the gym. But I don't, I live in the Isle of Man now, so there's not very many football teams on the Isle of Man. But, um, Have you been fighting the volcano like the rest of us? Oh, don't ask. Did Johnny tell you about our trip from. No. Yeah, you guys had to take 47 ferries to get to. Uh, Almost didn't make it. It took us 28 hours to get from the Isle of Man to Monza, and it was a nightmare. But we ended up. Missing our plane, but then we had to miss our connecting flight. So we got um, a ferry, three o'clock in the afternoon ferry on Tuesday to to Liverpool. Got a taxi from Liverpool ferry port to Liverpool airport. Got a hire car, drove from there to Luton. Slept at Luton for two hours and got the seven o'clock in the morning flight to Milan and then Milan to Monza. And, and you was, nearly won the race. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, maybe you should do you that. Should, yeah, you should. Do, you should go every, around the every, world every time before you get to a race. Everybody was like, ah, you, "You've got, you know, you've got to just do that every week because Mon Monza was good. You know, I enjoyed Monza a lot, and I think that was our opportunity to really, really, you know, show what we can do. And I was disappointed with what happened with the bike, but these things happen. No one made a mistake. Stone hit the oil cooler, and that was it. And I didn't really know. I had a bit of oil on my boot in the first race. My foot was slipping. So on that straight, when my foot slipped, I thought, ah, it's the same as the same. first race. And then suddenly it just went. But I knew what it was, and I was I was angry, you know. But I was upset more than anything. You know, I got back to the motorhome, tears and everything. But only because you get so close to being able to... Yeah, I've been there. You know, and I knew, I knew what was going to happen in the race, you know. I'd, I'd not planned it, because you can never plan anything in racing. Something will happen that you just don't plan. And uh, I knew where I could pass Max, and I knew how I had to do it. And I know it sounds really stupid, but I had to shove him up a slip road. Because if not, he, he was just going to come back past me on the straight, same as what I did to Leon. As soon as Leon passed him, he come back past him, not even in the slipstream. So, you know... You're getting good at this, sir. I heard I you wouldn't let him into his pit this afternoon. Tell us about that. Oh, uh, no, I don't... I don't have the best relationships with Max Biaggi, I'm sure. <laughs> but I don't know if, I don't know if that's no, me. No, come on, that's not what everyone. you said to me earlier. 
<laughs> I don't know if it's that, that's me or that's everyone, but <laughs> I think he just does it to annoy you, but in the end, it'll just end up annoying you to make me want to beat what, him. What did he it's do? Not... I, I miss it. Oh, they came into the pit lane together about 140 mile an hour. Go on. He what just... Oh, slow down, we lad. were standing there, and he just came out of nowhere and and shot off yeah, your front after end. Check a flag. Yeah, you know, he yeah. just he does it to everybody, and everybody's just like stupid. But if he's that threatened by people, he has to do that. It's pretty cool, to be honest. <laughs> I, I can't like it. <laughs> to say to say, uh, you know, a world champion of his caliber in you know, and the racer he was in MotoGP. Has to do that. To, he's got a bit to of a history people. of doing it, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, he's yeah. a psychological man. I can, he likes I can to see why Valentino Rossi didn't get on with him. So you, you, you and I'm a Valentino bird, fan, so. <laughs> so you just wouldn't let him in his pit when he came in, then? No, I just wasn't very happy. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the uh, the footballer uh, buddies of yours. Hmm. Is there an opportunity to take them for a two up ride? Have you ever given people two up rides? You know, give them a passenger ride and scare the pee out of them and I did, uh, uh, show them his boss. In uh, 2007 when I rode for Suzuki um, but I never took them guys I took some a load of UK journalists yeah. and pff, it got some good ratings it's got some real bad ratings saying that it was ridiculous and bikes should never be on tracks and stuff <laughs> like that but then again it got some like fantastic best trail ever and all that but you know I'm all for people having road bikes there's no doubt about it you know I got yeah. your road bikes are what makes me have a job at the end of the day yeah, yeah, yeah. but I'm all for everybody being careful and going fast on a track. It's yeah. as simple as that, you know. And I've got a road license, but I don't ride on the road because it could be me not making the mistake, but yeah. it could be me end up getting hurt. So, especially here, though, no helmets, huh? I, I, uh, it, it, it's, I'm glad you brought it up because I love America and I love coming to Salt Lake, but it does freak me out, the helmet never, thing here. I mean, I'm all about freedom, but just wear a helmet <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> fall off and then do it again next week every, yeah everybody I've sort of spoke to I said you know why don't you wear a helmet they say oh, it's not the law yeah, but you, you know you've only got one head not and, a condom <laughs> but you know but it's uh, nah you know I love America as well but that no what I you think been doing here think, is, it only, do? is it the only state here that doesn't have helmets you I don't probably know. Know. No, 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 no most no. states most states Plenty. don't have helmet laws yeah Cal Here's one for you. California makes you wear a helmet, yeah. but then you can lane split. So you can go you can go in between the lanes, oh, okay. in yeah, between yeah. the cars. So you're in a traffic jam in California, and motorcycles are going by at 30 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We but they got that. a helmet on, yeah, so that's good. What do you like about America? Oh, I love it. I've, I, Walmart? Is Walmart good? <laughs> Walmart owns Asda in the UK, so, so uh, yeah, I, I go there every week. Asda? Yeah. Um, no, I tell you, we're just looking at... Having a house over here, just, just for the winter in California somewhere. Yeah. Bit of motocross in there. I, what would you rather do? Be so you'd be a regular on the show then. Yeah, <laughs> but, but what would you rather be? Be in rainy Europe oh, in, in I'm, winter I'm, I'm or 100% be in with you. decent sun? But, yeah. you know, with the job that we do, we're out of the country so much anyway, you know. I love yeah. the Isle of Man where, you know, where I am now. And, um, but, you know, we don't get to stay there that often. And then when we are there, it's normally it's cold, cold, you know, but... Some some an hour with a TT and that. I'm looking forward to going back there. But um, do you enjoy something like the TT? Because I think those. Guys, I mean, I know yeah, you know most I of them, but it. they're insane. I do love it. I mean, close I, to your and, insanity, but. And for me, I can see why they get the buzz to do it. Sure. You are, know, are you going to do it? Never do it. I will never do <laughs> it. <laughs> Thank you. But but I can see why they do it, and I can see why they have the buzz to do it because it's fantastic. You know, the adrenaline that they must have to do it. I sock around it, and I feel like I'm, you know, <laughs> I feel like I'm right racing it. But um. No, it's good, you know, and it's just, it's a sport within a sport, if you go, I mean, I, I feel, you know, yeah. I think it's com something completely different, yeah. but in our sport, but you wouldn't catch me going on that, that, you know, them tracks at that speed. Yeah. Well, you say that, but then, you know, I think you would, you'd just go the same speed as everybody else, but I'm not, I'm sticking to, to racing short circuits and uh, hopefully have a good career at that.